Hi, my name is Melissa O'Day. I'm the VP of product here at WAGS, and I'm going to take you through the process of setting up your new WAGS Freedom Smart Dog Collar. We're going to go through the account setup process. We'll get the collar added to a Wi-Fi network and added into your WAGS account so that you can use it with your dog. So the first thing you have to do when you get your WAGS Freedom Collar is create your WAGS account on our website. So you need to go to setup.wags.com. And you can do this on a phone or a computer. Um, it works either way. When you go to the site setup.wags.com, you're going to see that there is the ability to create a new account or to log in. So if you're a new user with us, you'll go to this and enter your name, your email address, and create a password for your account. Once you do that, you will sign up and then you'll get an email sent to you just a minute later. You can click on the link in that email that just verifies your account and then you're ready to proceed to the next step. Now me, I already have my account created, so I'm gonna go to login and I will put in my credentials, at which point I'm ready to activate my new product. So if you are setting up a caller or an account for the first time, uh, this is where you'd be taken after you verify your email address by clicking on the link that comes in that email. So the first thing you do here is you need to just put in your serial number. And you can find the serial number on the back of the Freedom Caller or on the side of the box. So take a look at your box that you received in the mail. And uh, on the bottom of it, you'll see a serial number. And that's what you're going to type in here. So I'm going to type mine in for us. And then you name your caller. So I'm going to name mine Acadia. That's the name of my dog. And you begin setup. Then you'll see some information about our terms and conditions, privacy policy. Um, and I recommend you read through this. It's not that long. Uh, I've already read it, so I'm going to hit I agree. And you'll be presented with our different subscription plans. So a subscription is required to use the caller. And there's really uh, one important reason for that. So the caller, when it's at home with you on your Wi-Fi network, we can get information to your WAGS app through Wi-Fi. But if your caller is on your dog and he's out running in the yard, or if he gets lost and he's out somewhere you don't know where he is, if he doesn't have access to a Wi-Fi network, then we need to still get that information back to you so you can find him. And that's what the subscription is for. This allows the caller to actually reach out to the cellular networks so that it can get the information on where your pet is and how he's doing back to you in your WAGS app whenever you need it, uh, whether he's home or away. So you have the choice of signing up for an annual plan or a monthly plan. I'm gonna choose the annual. And you can see now that it's all set up um, and it prompts me to go to the WAGS app to continue the process. So if you don't have the WAGS app already installed, you can go to the iOS app store or to the Google Play store to just download it. And then when you go to the store, you are just gonna search for WAGS. There we go. And there's our app. Again, this is the same thing as if you were doing it on an Android device. Uh, just through the Google Play Store. The process is the same as what I'm doing here on an iPhone. I have the app already, so I'm just going to open it, but this is where you would download it if you didn't already have it installed. And you can see here it's opened the WAGS app for me. So now you need to log in, and this is going to use the same credentials as what you just created when you were setting up your WAGS account on setup.wags.com. So let's put in that same email address and password. I'm going to just pause my video for a quick moment so you guys don't all see my password. Hang on. All right, I'm all set. So now I'm going to log in. And this is where I'm going to set up our new caller. So in the top left corner of the WAGS account, you'll see a menu button. And when you go there, you'll see a few different options. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to devices. This is where you will add a new device. So if we click on device and click on the plus sign, you'll see the option to add a new Freedom Caller. So let's tap Freedom Caller. Now, if you tap on that, and instead of seeing this screen, you see a pop-up message about needing to complete registration, that is your cue that that first step we did of creating your WAGS account and putting in your serial number at setup.wags.com didn't go as it needed to. 
So you might get a prompt here that says you need to complete registration and there'll be a link that takes you right to setup.wags.com. And then just try to put that serial number in again and make sure the subscription is ready to go. Um, otherwise, you're not gonna be able to proceed with the process. So once you do get to this step though, um, it tells you make sure your collar is fully charged, wait for the blinking blue light to appear and then tap scan for devices. So I don't know if you can see here, but my collar is blinking blue. Um, so we are ready to go. So let's hit scan for devices. So it's searching for the collar. Just keep the collar nearby during this process so that it's in Bluetooth range from your phone. And we should see in just a moment that it's gonna find it. There we go. So it found the freedom collar. So you just tap on that and now you're gonna hit set up Wi-Fi. So this is where you need to now provide the information about your Wi-Fi network or password to the WAGS app so that it can send that information to your caller to get it online onto your network. So you'll choose your network, um, make sure you have your network type correct. Most of the time uh, home networks are WPA, so you can um, just leave that as the default, but there are other options here if you have a different type of network. And then you'll put in your password. And again, I'm gonna pause it just so you guys don't see my password. All right, so I have my password typed in. And one thing I always advise people to do is after you type in your password, click on that little eyeball on the right. That's gonna display the password for you instead of having it blocked out. And that's always a good thing to do before you hit connect because it's going to allow you to check that you didn't make any typos because ultimately these keyboards on your phone are pretty small and it's, it's pretty easy to make a mistake there. So always good to check before you continue. So let's hit connect and we'll get this guy online. So now it's working on sending the credentials over to the caller. Um, it can take a minute, maybe two, while it goes through that process. Uh, for me, very quick, very easy. And you can see it's now successfully connected to Wi-Fi. So now what we do is activate the device. This step is what now sends information back up to WAGS to let us know that you have your caller online, this caller is associated with your account and it's ready to go so we can start using it. So this will just take a quick moment and when it does it, you'll see the caller blinks green a couple times. Now at this point, you are ready to set up your pet. So put your caller into um, maybe on a windowsill is a really great place to, to set the caller during this process because Right now, it's updating its software and it's trying to get its first GPS location. GPS doesn't work great inside. It's just a limitation of the technology. If there is a building surrounding you, uh, you're not always going to be able to get good access to the GPS satellite to get an accurate location. So you do want the caller for this step to be somewhere where it has good Wi-Fi connections so it can get its latest update, but also uh, ideally line of sight to the sky, which is why I recommend putting it in a window so it can see those GPS satellites. Now, one of the cool things is while it gets this update, uh, let me tell you about the fact that because this is a smart home device, it's connected to Wi-Fi, it's connected to our servers, you're going to get software updates on a regular basis. So WAGS is always working on improvements, adding new functionality, enhancements, bug fixes, and you'll get these updates over the air automatically free of charge whenever they're available. And the way that that works, every time your caller boots up, it's gonna ping our server and check, is there a new update for me? If there is, it will get it automatically. Um, while it updates, you'll see that the, the light on the caller flashes a purple color, and then it'll be ready to use. The updates are pretty quick. So I'm gonna just put mine in the window while we go and set up our pet, because you can move forward with the setup pet process while it's doing this update and getting its location. So this is where you're going to add in some information about who the caller is for. And my dog's name is Acadia, so I'm going to type in her name, and then I can find her photo. Let's see here. So I have a photo right here of Acadia that I took yesterday. You'll enter some information about her breed. Now you can scroll through or you can search. Um, so my dog is a boxer and a German shepherd mix. So I'm going to put in both of those and you'll just fill in all this information about your pet. 
Now, one thing I'll mention about the weight and the height, it is important to be as accurate as possible because we use this information to help us calculate metrics and activity information about your pet. So we leverage the height, for example, to help have the most accurate uh, detail possible for your pet's steps throughout the day. So this here tells you how you measure your pet's height. It goes from his foot up to his shoulder. You'll put in the birthday. Acadia's birthday is February 24, uh, 2012. And then we ask a little bit of information about their temperament. So tell us about your pet. So Acadia, she is cuddles motivated. She is sweet, vocal, um, and she's also a little bit uh, silly. So we're gonna put that information in about Acadia. And then at the bottom here, you'll see there's a place to enter anything about her allergies, medications, her rabies info, her license info. That's all optional. You don't have to fill it in. You can come back and do it later if you want. But the WAGS app is a great place to store uh, any of your pet's records, just so you have it all together in one place should you ever need it. So we're going to move ahead, though. Um, oh, I forgot lifestyle. So for lifestyle, Acadia is mostly indoor, but she does go outside. Um, so we'll put mostly indoor. All right, we are ready to save. So now if I go to my dashboard, oh, sorry about that. Let's come back in. There we go. So now we can see Acadia here in our dashboard. And you can see I have her dashboard card. It has her photo. And right now it's still working on getting that first location. So it hasn't reported yet. Again, that process can take uh, up to 30 minutes. It's usually quicker, um, but keep it in your window so it gets that good view of the sky. And once it does get her location, that'll populate here at the top of the screen next to that GPS location icon. Um, you have some stats there for her activity for the day. So as we put this collar on her, we're going to track her steps. We're going to be calculating for her a health and happiness score, which will give you an idea of how she's doing. And then there are some other functions here on the dashboard for how you can control your collar um, and some of the other features for what you might do with it. I think that's it for now, though. I hope this was a helpful video to get you up and running with your new WAGS Freedom Collar. If you have any questions along the way, there's a ton of materials online on our website at support.wags.com. So feel free to check that out. You can also reach out to our WAGS dog nerds at any time. Uh, you can call them, email them. Their email address is support at wags.com. And they'll be there to help you through any troubles that you might be having. I hope you guys have a great day and your pups have a great day. Go give them a dog treat and get started. Thank you so much.